Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Jamel Malik. And shout out to everybody in Nutty, New York, honey. I know you guys are snowed in right now. You guys are dealing with the blizzard. Meanwhile, in LA, it's like 65 degrees out here. It's not too bad at all. But I wanted to go ahead and, you know, get you guys some stories while you guys are sitting stuck in the house. And this story is coming from none other than our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. So what's going on now, New York, you ask? What's going on is that the other day, I don't know if this man is Puerto Rican or Dominican. I always get it mixed up, you know, when I hear their accents in New York. I'm assuming he's Dominican, but I don't know. Anyhow, this dude named Jason Mello, he has about 36,000 followers on Instagram. He believed that his girlfriend slash baby mother was cheating on him. They have a two-month-old child. Not only did he choke her and punch her in front of this baby, he then decides to walk her outside in the snow. And you guys can attest, New Yorkers, how cold it is right now in New York. He makes her go out there, nothing but a towel on, and he's making her walk down the street. He's going off on her. He's degrading her. And then he finally just snatches the towel off of her, and she is literally butt naked in the streets, you know, trying to hide and cover herself. This whole situation is insane. Then mysteriously, this video ended up on social media, and people were able to put two and two together. And initially, when the video went viral, him and his homies were celebrating and singing songs in Spanish about women cheating on their men. But once he got drugged and the police got involved, all of a sudden he wanted to go onto social media crying and boohooing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. This story received a wide range of reactions on social media. Some people said this woman appears to be acting on her own free will. But tonight we checked in with Dr. Jeff Gardier, and he made it clear what you see on this video is torture and domestic violence. And now this alleged bad boyfriend is behind bars. In less than 48 hours, Jason Mello became infamous on Instagram, found fans on Facebook, and his appearance tonight will be in front of a Manhattan criminal court judge. It is unacceptable that in 2016, men, they don't understand that domestic violence and cyber uh, bullying is unacceptable. It was a viral video revenge plan that backfired. Mello claims his girlfriend was unfaithful, so he forced her to walk down West 142nd Street in Harlem wearing only a towel. And then he told her to take the towel off. This appears to be someone with a profile of being very immature, but also very, very rageful, very angry, uh, perhaps felt he was betrayed, but no amount of what you perceive as betrayal uh, in any way can justify you doing anything like that. Just watch as the victim tries to cover herself near a pile of trash. In Spanish, Melo told the woman next to the trash is exactly where she belongs. Dr. Jeff Gardier explains what may have been going through this poor woman's mind. She was probably in fear for her life, but certainly she was very, very embarrassed too. And to me, that is a, a, a really clear example of uh, torture and domestic violence. City Councilman Idanis Rodriguez was outraged. I called to the attention of the authorities to get into the investigation, find all the facts on this. And even NYC First Lady Shirlene McRae said in a statement, posting that video online perpetuated the abuse, which New York City does not tolerate. Mello tried to apologize on Instagram. In one video, he even wipes away a single tear. But earlier today, Day, he turned himself into police. Sources tell PIX11 Mello admitted he punched and choked his girlfriend before recording this degrading walk of shame. We're still waiting for Jason Mello's arraignment here at Manhattan Criminal Court. In addition to assault charges, he's also facing child endangerment charges because sources tell us he punched and choked his girlfriend in front of her three month old baby. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News. Eso a mí, pensando que tú eras mi mujer El hombre que confía en otro hombre Eso lo dice la Biblia Me siento mal como hombre Como me quieran ustedes llamar ofendiéndome soy, yo sé que vengo de una mujer, como le dije a ella cuando subimos al apartamento, vengo de una mujer, tengo una niña hembra 
y las hermanas mías son hembras, pero mira lo que tú me has empujado. Soy una mujer, tengo una niña hembra y las hermanas mías son hembras, pero mira lo que tú me has empujado. Me disculpa para todo y ya este es el último video que hago. No quiero entrevista, no quiero nada. que dirán que son perfectos y con historias de que todos son perfectos te van a utilizar miles que dicen que eran perfectos rompiste una relación de varios años no se importa el daño ni el dolor que dejaste a mi ser Frank, you guys just watched that news clip I love how he tried to play the little Spanish music and have a single tear roll down his cheek like that fake ass Indian in those old ass little commercials back in the day people start pollution people can stop it this dude is sadistic as hell. You know, it's one thing if he thought that his girlfriend was cheating on him, then the right thing to do is cut her ass off and keep it moving. You don't sit there and make her go out in the cold in a towel and then take it from her and have her walk down the street butt naked and then post it onto social media as if this would be okay. And you know that we live in a very feminist society, you know what I'm saying? So what did he think was gonna happen? Did he think the internet was gonna give him a pat on the back and a kudos for embarrassing this woman? You know, the whole situation means just disgusting now he wants to come out and say that you know he has a mother he has sisters you know he has a daughter that should have been all the more reason why you would not disrespect the mother of your child like this once you post something on social media you can never take it down you know this woman will be forever embarrassed because of your antics you know he definitely deserves to be punished for this you know i find the whole situation not only sick but extremely disturbing because she just had a baby two months ago and instead of thinking about that child's well-being and what that child might think in the future. He only thought about himself and embarrassing this woman. So I find this whole situation just sickening. If I were the girlfriend, I hope she gets full custody of the child and she stops dealing with this man. Because if he could do this once, if he could sit there and punch you and abuse you in front of your two-month-old child, it's not going to get any better. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How did you guys first feel when you guys saw the video on social media? And then how do you feel about Jason Mello trying to take to Instagram and cry and everything else? Are you buying the fact that he's sad and that he regrets this? Or do you feel like he's only regretting this because of all the backlash he's now receiving from social media? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.